I can't say that I'm not familiar with a woman by the name of Brittany Renner. She's not just an Instagram model. She's a very popular Instagram model and she pops up on my feed from time to time. She's in some news stories and she's in the news again. Apparently she's a Kentucky fan. She's been attending Kentucky games and um, people notice that is Keldon Johnson. And he's noticed that Brittany Renner is there. That is him winking tongue out and then saying, what's he saying Jalen? I love you. Do you think he's, do you think he's talking to the coach? No. Do you, you think he's talking to maybe his mom's in the stands? No. Do you think he's talking to the Instagram model? He's Brittany definitely Renner? not talking to one of his teammates either. No, I don't think so How either. How about that? You wish your teammate loved you <laughs> and looked at you <laughs> the way he was looking at her. <laughs> he does it. Question in the middle you. of the game. Soft move or boss move? Professing your love for an Instagram model in the middle of the game. Boss move. Oh, I love this. I played a lot I of basketball. This. Okay. And let me tell you guys something. I'm not going to mention any names. Take us behind the curtains. But I've fallen into this category at different points of my career. Oh. In high school, college, early in the league. Late in the league. When, so you're, when you say different points of your career, you mean your entire career. There are times <laughs> that basketball players have better vision than the rest of the world truly acknowledges. Oh. And it's not just seeing an open man cutting back door for a dunk. <laughs> it's you're in a facility that has 25,000 people 25, there. 25,000 people there. And for some strange reason, you can spot somebody that you think is fly. <laughs> and you and know you what you do? Eye contact? No, it's more. It's more. Oh. You don't have to get the eye contact. That's lame. No. Oh, okay. that, you don't do it. You don't lick out your tongue and tell the person you love them. Here's what you do. You get the ball boy to take him a note. That's not, that's not that's real. That's what you do. That's real? So you write a little note? Like, do you like me with yes, check this box, yes, check this box, no? Back in the day, this is before, this was when beepers were out. This is when everybody didn't have a cell phone. David Jacoby, no. You write down the name with the number and you have the ball boy give it to the individual. At that point, it's a 50-50 proposition. You might get a voicemail later. It's a 50-50 proposition. Oh, and by the way. Question, if it's a 50-50 proposition, would you ever give out more than one note at a time? No. Okay. That's corny. Okay, okay. That 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 goes against all ethics and etiquette. That's just like he's not going to be licking out his tongue saying I love you hopefully to nobody else this year. Okay? He's got to own the fact that he's trying to shoot his best shot. But as a college kid, the dynamics of being on campus and having to work, the only time he really probably get a chance to see her is at and or during the game. So if I'm playing for Kentucky, here's what you do. Y'all got to win some more games, okay? Yeah, y'all got to win the SEC regular season. Y'all got to win the SEC tournament. And y'all got to get Coach Cal to the Final Four. Because you know what happens? They have a couple notable fans, by the way, to come to their Kentucky games. Mm -hmm. If y'all make it far, she'll be there. And you know what might happen if you guys end up cutting down the nets? Y'all get a chance to celebrate. You know, and you happen? know what happens in celebration? Everybody gets a chance to engage one another. I know the Kentucky players love Jalen and Jacoby. They're about to go on a win streak. <laughs> they're going to watch this segment, and they're about to go on a win streak. I'm picking Kentucky to win the national championship. You heard it right here on Jalen and Jacoby.